Brian Willie here. I wanted to uh, extend a greeting to everybody and talk a little bit about uh, Permaculture Exchange or PDX Stage 2, which is an invitation to partner with us in uh, build, design, and vision the transition. So as an intro, we are looking for projects and long-term employment relationships with partners. Your group might be looking for training, internships and jobs, and uh, perhaps technical support and consulting. We can offer all those things. Also, your organization has existing or new programs that uh, PEX members can help grow. Uh, uh, in summary, Permaculture Exchange has 70 members in uh, the Pacific Northwest and the Bay Area. We have a definite focus on permaculture ethics and principles. We have four types of members. Those include interns, contract workers, consultants, and project owners. And four types of projects. They could be uh, a community garden, uh, building a cob house, uh, helping with a business plan or a website. We are an RFP driven group and those are easy to uh, create and upload and share with us. Uh, if you have a project, all you need to do is give us an RFP and we'll take a look at it. We have multiple communication channels. Our members can communicate directly. Uh, they can uh, work the, uh, the forum as, as another idea. So there's a lot of flexibility here get the word out. And we also have an incubator process, uh, which I hope to uh, kick start uh, with this stage two. So why partner with Permaculture Exchange? Good question. PDX, you, what is the overlap? So PDX and your organization actually have a lot in common. We both want to create job opportunities and uh, build programs that sponsor jobs for all kinds of people across the, the specter of low middle class, uh, immigrant, uh, college educated. PDX is um, a pool of experts, contract workers and interns ready to work on your project. Um, your members can join as interns or as contractors uh, teachers in this multi-regional design network. So we have the advantages of uh, Pacific Northwest folks and Bay Area folks in this exchange. This is like a plug and play opportunity. You submit an RFP and uh, select your team, get a bid and go to work. It's uh, that fast. Again, we have four project types uh, that you can uh, engage us in uh, the garden, the website, the business plan, etc. We're not uh, just looking for land use design projects. Um, so PEX is uh, actually competing in a sense with uh, eco and permaculture design firms, but I think we have a lower overhead and a more direct to market approach to staffing. Uh, we have a very competitive bid and selection process internally to get you the best price for your project or your program. And we have many more uh, consultants to choose from as we come together for a solution for you. Uh, that's a big advantage uh, over the firm that has a couple of principles. We're also challenging the unsustainable uh, practice out there that uh, pits uh, new graduates from permaculture schools uh, into a job market that doesn't exist. So uh, PEX is a job market, a catalyst, and we are looking for more opportunity to prove that model. So stage two, permaculture exchange, a robust network of experts and uh, trained uh, contractors, interns, ready to work for you. Let's look at a few partner types that we may engage with uh, and may pitch to uh, in the coming months as we start to go back to the gardens and uh, the visions of the land and their businesses. Um, 
We have 12 types here. I'll, I'll, I'll cover them briefly. Uh, what, what I want to really do is continue to, to do uh, the work of the uh, transition and look at uh, where, where we can go with job service, government job service, and uh, private recruiters. We need to uh, get out of the box and approach these folks. Uh, they may have projects. Um, they may offer us some other training. So uh, job service is, isn't to be uh, overlooked. There's a lot of placement uh, placement offices in universities, of course, and tech schools. So we need to reach out to them, offer our, our network, our services, and see what uh, we can provide them in terms of next steps for graduates. Permaculture schools, I mentioned before quickly. They certainly uh, need to do a better job at helping find jobs for their graduates. We can help provide that bridge. Uh, you know, we are the transition uh, group here, and so uh, we need to redouble our efforts to reach out to uh, the schools and uh, let them know we're here and that we have opportunities for graduates from the programs. <clears throat> City planning goes without saying. Pardon my writing here. City planning offices are also a key place that we can partner and we'll be approaching um, the Bay Area and Pacific Northwest cities uh, for opportunities, mutual opportunities, partners. Um, there are certainly ongoing and brand new urban ag projects that we can uh, plug into, offer workers, offer uh, expert designers. Um, the veterans are another key uh, group that we can reach out to, help. Um, Destin is uh, a member of uh, PEX. He's working a uh, program now uh, to benefit the veterans. I'm sure he'll have more to say about that. But that's, that's a real interesting core group that is looking for work and uh, who often has um, farming background. Latino workers, another place that we can help educate and bring in uh, folks for uh, a better livelihood, more sustainable livelihood, and uh, I'm looking forward to talking with uh, some folks in this area who are looking at the Latino community for work programs. Uh, there's always green jobs, youth jobs. Um, this is another focus for us, for partner types. Um, I'm interested in uh, tool share groups because they have tools, we have folks. Together we do projects, obviously. I'm interested in talking to neighborhood centers like uh, the Berkeley um, Ecology Center. They're a hub. Um, we can offer them the same services, the same folks, and they can shuttle uh, folks that are interested in working in permaculture design uh, to us. So that's a good partnership type, neighborhood centers. Um, certainly a lot of individuals out there who cannot be overlooked, individuals with land who are looking to do projects. And there are uh, not-for-profits like the architects, designers, planners for social responsibility, say, who we need to do a better job of reaching our value proposition and creating partnerships. So if you'd like to be a part of this dynamic, uh, this, this interface between work and transition, uh, please let me know and uh, we can uh, discuss how PEX can help you help everybody. This is Willie Paul. Thanks a lot.